Bashing the big brother has always been a favorite pastime. In countries neighboring India, given India's size, population and economic superiority, it can be forgiven. But when the tone gets abusive, it's worth condemning. That's what the joint opposition in the Maldives just did to a quote-unquote editorial that appeared in a Maldives government mouthpiece whose every line is approved by the Maldives dictator President Abdullah Yamin himself. The Maldives has never been as united as its current joint opposition determined to oust dictatorial President Abdullah Yamin. He is accused of embezzling public funds and of practically selling out his country to both China and Saudi Arabia. From China comes infrastructure and possibly military and naval presence in the Indian Ocean. While Saudi Arabia has successfully infused the tolerant and gentle Maldivian Muslim population with a radical Wahhabism, it's hardly a wonder that the maximum number of Islamic State recruits in South Asia were from the Maldives. In New Delhi, the frost set in early. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been in power for over three years and travelled the world. Yet Mali, under President Yamin, is the only South Asian country where Air India 1 is yet to drop its undercarriage. And it is this cold shoulder that seems to have provoked the salacious editorial in the Maldivian mouthpiece. The article, which was approved by none other than Maldivian President Abdullah Yamin himself, targets India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi as an anti-Muslim extremist Hindu and declares that India is the Maldives' biggest enemy. China, on the other hand, is gushingly describing it as its new best friend. Former President Mohammad Gayoom was himself considered an iron-fisted strongman. He ruled the Maldives for three decades. His successor, Mohammad Nasheed, was the country's first democratically elected president. The two men were bitter political foes, and yet both former presidents now head the united opposition and want the dictatorial Abdullah Yameen removed. And both ex-presidents have taken strong objection to that article. President Gayoom tweeted that India is, and I'm quoting, a very close and trusted friend. President Nasheed called the Maldivian government's foreign policy reckless and strongly condemned the anti-India dietary.